Um, I'd like to talk about uh, the stories that I heard as a little girl when I used to travel we'd st to Bozeman and we would stop at um, Fort Parker and my grandfather Henry Olkayod was the one that we would stop there and get off and he would tell me the stories of what happened there when they first had the first agency and he would tell me that my grandma Stella Heat as an old coyote, her father was uh, was at the agency when he was a little boy. And these are his stories that he uh, experienced while he was living n near that uh, the fort. And they camped on the sides of the hill uh, around that area near that little creek that goes by. And some of them kind of camp a little bit below uh, toward closer to the river and um, his name was Frank Heat is it and and these are his stories and when he was a little boy he remembers the first cow that the Indian agent and the soldiers at the Fort Parker had their first uh, butchering a cow, the spotted buffalo, and they they took the men and some of the women. There is a, before you get to Fort Parker, there's like a little, a bend near that Yellowstone River. And um, the location of the area where we, we would drive by it, it's kind of near the highway and it's like a, uh, it's the Yellowstone River is right here and there's kind of like a little bend there and that's where they killed the buffalo and they had you know uh, different people go over there and they wanted to watch what was going to go on and so there was kids there and he was one of the kids and he said the tribal leaders that were uh, like chief sits in the middle pretty eagle and uh, different uh, the Mountain Crow chiefs were standing around with the Indian agent and when um, they got near the cow that they just shot, one of the soldiers shot it and um, they got near it and they they started butchering it. The soldiers started butchering it and then wanted them to go ahead and finish it. See, And then the men looked around there and then they talked amongst themselves and then the women came up there and um, then they told that Indian agent we don't like your spotted buffalo Bishajila. they stink it has a funny smell we're not going to eat that <laughs> and they walked off <laughs> and and then the next one is uh it's about when they gave out the rations and it was, they gave the Indian women sacks of uh, flour and some other stuff and uh, there was a few women at the, at the fort. I don't know if they were like missionaries or wives of some of the soldiers, officers or something, but they gave them a demonstration on making bread and like biscuits. And they gave this, these sacks to these uh, the Crow women, and then they took them back to the camp. And then the, uh, his, his mom gave him that sack and said, we don't know how to cook like those white people. We don't have any of the things that they use to cook, like the uh, frying pans or Dutch ovens, whatever they had there. Uh, pots or whatever they had they didn't have that because they used um, the fire and and they also cooked in the ground and stuff and um, and so she said we don't have any use for this flower go take it out in the hills and throw it out but make sure you bring me back that flower sack and so um, so he took that and all the other moms did that too and these kids went out in the hills and they got the whole hillside full of flour. They were covered with flour. They were having fun with that flour. And, and uh, then they got tired of it. 
So then he brought his sack back to uh, his mother and she washed it out and said, I need this material. I'm going to make uh, the binding on the elk tooth dresses. So, you know, that little binding? That's what they use. They cut up that uh, the flower, that little white part, and then they sewed it to the edging. And then right here, that's what they used. And on the uh, the edge of the dresses. So the, that's what they, and I think, and then the women at the fort, whoever they were, the officers, wives, or the missionaries, seen, seen those kids covered in flour and what a waste of food that was and they complained to the Indian agent. And then, but those, the men said, how do you expect us to use that stuff when we don't eat those things, we don't eat flour, we don't eat bread, and we also don't have the cooking things, we only use fire to cook with. Mm. And that's one of his stories, and I remember that. Every time I drive by there, like a couple of weeks ago, I, we drove by there, and I was sharing that story again with my sister. Oh, when we came back, and we were talking about that, and I shared that with my uh, sister, and we were talking about those things, because I used to travel with my grandparents everywhere, and my grandpa knew all these places of incidents that happened, and he would tell me where they were at if we drove by it. And so the next 